hello welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this one make sure you subscribe give this video like i guarantee you're going to enjoy it or maybe take something from it is what i should say but i was definitely in two minds about posting this video or just like making a video like this in general because mainly because i don't want anyone to feel nervous about stopping breastfeeding before i started breastfeeding or before i even had a baby my baby's 10 months old now she's about to turn 11 months in a few days I wouldn't have even bat an eyelid if one of my friends was like, yeah, I'm not breastfeeding anymore. I would be like, okay, cool. Like I literally, it wouldn't have even crossed my mind that that might be a struggle. When I was like going through the tr transition, I like, I felt really alone. I was like, why am I struggling with this so much? Honestly, it was one of the hardest things I've done. It sounds dramatic, but it was one of the hardest things I've gone through. And like Jeff can vouch, I was just a mess, like so sad. Um, having said that, I was never gonna breastfeed forever each to their own, everyone is completely different. I didn't really want to breastfeed beyond one, the age of one, but I did decide to stop breastfeeding slightly early. Two reasons, like obviously her reasons and my reasons. For my reasons is that I'm getting married this year and I've got a lot of plans this year. Like I'm going away on my hen. I'm going away on my best friend's hen in a few days for three days in Marbella. I know you can like pump and things like that when you're away, that's absolutely fine. But even just in terms of my physical appearance and like selfish, vanity reasons like i really wanted to prioritize my health and fitness like get really fit get really strong in the gym like before i got pregnant i was the most confident i've been in my body if you know if you don't know i went through a weight loss journey like literally six years ago now six seven years ago and it is important to me to be in my health and fitness routine which i was and i maintain through pregnancy and postpartum and breastfeeding but just in terms of wanting to tighten it up and obviously my baby comes first and i'm like, not wanting to interrupt my milk supply or like do anything like that she was over it like she was biting my nips. She loves the bottle. We always combination fed from the beginning. She had like one bottle a day for like the first four months, four or five months. And then she had two bottles a day. By the end, I was only breastfeeding twice. I was breastfeeding in the morning when she woke up and then after her afternoon nap. She was more than happy and content with the bottle. Like absolutely loved it. The breastfeeding was more like as a snack at that point and just, yeah, I guess like something just something special between her and I. Like I absolutely loved breastfeeding. I breastfed her for nearly 10 months and it was the highlight of my new motherhood journey, honestly. So basically I'm gonna include some clips now from when I was about to stop breastfeeding and like that kind of transitional time um, just so you can kind of like go back and sort of see how I was feeling at the actual time because yeah, I was, um, yeah. Well, you'll see if he is. <laughs> the big scary camera this is a very off the cuff intro to this video i was gonna intro a little bit earlier but i was um i was a little bit a little bit upset and i realized that i've started quite a few of my recent videos being a little bit um negative and sad and just excuse the state of me i went to the gym this morning and i haven't showered or anything since i'm just like giving the disheveled mum look your hair after your nap is the cutest thing on earth Look, I'm not 100% sure like what the journey is going to be of this, but um, basically I've been I've been wanting to sort of stop breastfeeding for a little while. Not wanting to, that's actually the wrong word. I've not wanted to, but like it's just time. Like she doesn't need to be breastfed by me anymore. She's nearly like she'll be 10 months in a few weeks and she loves a bottle. She loves food. She'll take a boob. Like she's just like so chilled and like easygoing when it comes to feeding like i never wanted to become one of those mums that's just like breastfeeding for like selfish reasons because you literally breastfeed your baby for their own benefit so they get the nutrients and they get the nutrition like whatever and i've just loved breastfeeding my baby like i've just had the best experience i've just loved it so much like to me there's been nothing more special every single morning when she wakes up putting her on my boob and like having a cuddle and a little snooze together like in bed it's just lush so anyway i was talking about it on instagram earlier on today i was like how did you um you know wean off breastfeeding like what did you do and we have been I have been like dropping feeds so I used to just feed her after she'd wake up so in the morning and then after her two naps so three times a day but a week or so ago I dropped the after lunchtime nap feed the last couple of days like she's just not really wanted the afternoon nap feed however when she wakes up in the morning she's literally on both boobs for ages and we like nap and cuddle and like chill in bed and it's just lush so we haven't stopped doing that yet but me and jeff did you would have seen in one of my previous videos like me and jeff did go and have a night away together and obviously that morning i didn't breastfeed and i actually didn't feel engorged at all and i was like oh like i could easily just like skip this whole feed today um i thought i'd wake up feeling you know really full because i'd been away from her and stuff but I didn't, so anyway, long story short, I was talking on Instagram and um, 
I don't know whether I've kind of come to the conclusion that maybe I just stop from here on out. I don't want to know that it's our last feed together. I think if you've breastfed your baby or if you're breastfeeding your baby, you'll get the kind of like emotional, like attachment you just like get to like nursing your baby so that's why i'm starting this vlog now because i did have a little cry earlier thinking like is that it like is that the end i feel like it's hard to explain like why it's so emotional and i just feel like if you know you know it just feels like a massive end of an era it's almost like she doesn't feel like a baby anymore or i guess you feel like just well she, she doesn't need me as much because that's what i love about it i love that like no one else can do it so like you know if we're out and i like want my baby back or, like you know other people are like spending time with my baby uh, only i can like do that for her and then i love i love having that responsibility and i love having that like bond like you know you you grow them and they feel like part of you and that's just i think breastfeeding just feels like an extension of that so then like finish like stopping doing that just feels like she's her own like independent person and she doesn't need me which sounds really stupid but i suppose that's like the underlying feeling you know but technically i guess this morning will be have been the last feed i'm obviously not a hundred percent but that's what i'm kind of thinking is going to be the plan jeff's going to get up with her tomorrow morning and give her a bottle like we've never given her a bottle first thing in the morning like we always give her she always breastfeeds like when she wakes up in the morning and it's like I just want to really because we don't sleep together anymore either like it's almost like it's like reassuring her. she wakes up in the morning like we're here we're close <laughs> yeah i'm a mess about it <laughs> I literally never thought it would be like I like never thought it'd be this upsetting. The funny thing is, is like I literally don't think she'll give a shit. <laughs> She's so happy to just like be fed like anything, honestly. She'll eat everything, drink everything. I just thought like I'd document a little bit of it over the next couple of weeks with just kind of I know I'm not going cold turkey because we have been reducing the feeds. She's not a little baby anymore. Like she's eating food, she's eating eating avo on toast. Like I'm not the only thing keeping her alive anymore, you know. You just gotta like move on to like the different chapters. I feel stupid getting emotional, but I know some people will relate. <laughs> She's got this new trick where she like wags her tongue. I honestly can't cope with it. You look crazy. You look crazy, girl. But anyway, I'll, I'll update tomorrow if I end up not breastfeeding in the morning and then we'll just like see how I go over the next couple of weeks. It's so stupid, isn't it? I just love her so much. And I just, <laughs> it sounds so stupid. Honestly, when you say stuff out loud, you realise how stupid you sound, but... I just love her so much that I want her to like <laughs> love and need me as much as I like love and need her even though I know she does. This is the reality of day two. I'm literally, like, I'm heavily picking up my camera which I know seems weird because I'm crying because I want to document this process and my emotions have just like knocked me for six. I literally can't stop. I don't want to put anyone off, we obviously got to do it at some point, but oh my god. I'll do a proper update tomorrow. Happy Monday. So I start this vlog on Saturday. <laughs> I'm laughing because I put her hair in the middle part in and honestly she looks like Wednesday Adams, it's just hilarious. So I did breastfeed Harper this morning. Um, it's been 48 hours since I last breastfed her. And I was just thinking about it yesterday and I was like, obviously yesterday I just like literally spent all day crying. I know like that might not be relatable to some, but I know other people will like fully relate. Um, I literally spent all day crying and I was in a lot of pain and I've basically, because I've gone from basically doing two feeds to doing none. And I was like, I don't need to be this cold turkey. Like there's no reason why I can't just maybe breastfeed her this morning. And then I thought I wait, I'll wait another 48 hours. So breastfeed her Wednesday morning and then I'm getting my lip filler dissolved Thursday so you can't like breastfeed after that anyway so um I thought that would be like a good kind of like spread out so basically it'll be th three lots of 48 hour breaks if that makes sense which I think will really help reduce my supply because this morning it was painful I won't lie like I picked her out of her cart sorry about the washing machine by the way and I'm um, like held her against me and it I was like Oh my god, like it was agony on particularly my left side, but anyway. Yeah, so I basically just breastfed her for like a few, well, for like five minutes until she came off, because I don't know if you, like, I don't know whether you experience this, but like, she'll come off probably like two or three times, like, per feed and kind of go straight back on, but the first time she came off the boob, I just like stopped the feed there, and I feel a lot better, like, I shouldn't have a massive feed, but it just like took the edge off, like, one side was just like super hard and lumpy, but anyway, just in the middle of making her some shredded wheat, which is our new thing. Anyway, I know there's a lot of like, I don't know, mixed opinions on whether you should know that it's the last feed or not. I think I felt so upset yesterday because 
I hadn't known it was the last feed, like that did really upset me. And now that I know that in two days time Wednesday, it will be the last feed, I don't know. I feel a little bit more at peace with that. Whereas I know other people would rather not know. I think I would just rather know, to be honest. We'll see how I feel Wednesday, I'll keep you updated. But um, either way, yeah, basically got one feed left and I have still felt emotional today, but we'll see how I go. I've just come out of the gym, so I thought I'd do a little update because it is Wednesday today. So I started this vlog, I think it was Saturday. So we're technically, what, like four days into me stopping breastfeeding. I could have done loads of updates like yesterday and the day before but if I'm being honest I've been a complete emotional mess and I've really felt the hormone drop so yeah my last update was Monday when I breastfed Harper in the morning so at that point I'd gone 48 hours since breastfeeding so I breastfed her Saturday morning breastfed her Monday morning and that's because I was in a lot of pain and like Sunday night like my boobs were like really really hard and I was in a lot of pain so I decided I'm gonna breastfeed her and then I'll maybe do it again 48 hours later that would have been this morning so if i woke up this morning and he was like what do you want to do do you want me to give her a bottle like what's your thoughts and i was like i was like i'm not in pain at all to be honest yesterday i wore a really tight sports bra all day because i did read that that was a good thing to do so i literally all day long wore like a super like really tight sports bra um, and today i'm wearing a really tight sports bra as well but tomorrow i'm getting my lip filler dissolved so like i categorically can't breastfeed her after tomorrow at 10 a.m anyway but i may like pump a little bit if i am in any pain but i genuinely think like that is it and i'm just like drying up and it's not gonna get more yeah i'm definitely feeling better today and i think what i've been worried about is that i'm just gonna be like literally crying every bloody day especially after the last few days that i've had but i feel okay like i'm talking about it now and i'm not getting teary so that is a win but i'll keep you up to date with like how i'm feeling like i do i literally feel already like my boobs are starting to look sad everyone says like post breastfeeding boobs are sad and i'm not really one of those people who's like oh i'll get like a boob job like i don't care just had my nails done. I've done an upper body session and I cannot wait for my hormones to just like balance out and I'll be able to just like smash my workouts again because I literally feel uh, like hormonally garbage, like no energy and there must be a load of stuff going on. But anyway, let's just keep this process going. It has now been 16 days since the last time I breastfed. So I thought I'd do an update because, well, couple of updates really. First of all, the strong emotions and stuff definitely died off after a week. So if you are in this camp, then you will be absolutely fine. Or I hope that you will be fine. Um, yeah, like I haven't been like crying every night. Like I literally just lasted a week. So that's a positive. The strange thing is today, so yeah, 16 days since I last breastfed and I woke up and I was wearing a grey, uh, I wore a grey t-shirt to bed and one side was like drenched okay not drenched but like i'd leaked you know through my top i was like what the hell um i picked harper out of her cot i've actually had this problem the last few days like i can't hold her up against me because it like hurts and i could like feel like my boob just felt really lumpy only on one side which is funny um so i was just in bed like with her like i'd just given her a bottle and um we were just like laying and chilling and i just started like squeezing like trying to massage the lumps i don't really hand express i've never really hand express it freaks me out a little bit i just like hate the thought of like squeezing my boob but um yeah i just started kind of like hand expressing and like milk was just like coming out and i was like what the hell I was thinking like I could literally breastfeed her, which is mad and also like makes you feel really um, like a certain way. I was just like, oh my God, I would love to just like give her a little breastfeed and just, oh, um, but I didn't obviously. Don't wanna like make it worse. So I just, um, yeah, I just squeezed for a little bit, let the, some of the milk come out and um, yeah, I'm just gonna like see how it is over the next couple of days. I did post about it on my uh, Instagram story and quite a few people did reply and say, oh, that same thing happened to me like two weeks later. And then it, after that, it's just like, Whoa. so. I kind of thought like my milk had already dried up and now like knowing that it hasn't kind of like makes me feel like more sad again. So I'm like, oh, maybe I could just carry on breastfeeding, but I'm not going to. Like I've made my bed. We are laying in it. The body is so clever. All right, we're gonna go take this little moose for a nap. It's 9.30. She's been up since 5.45. So from here. Oh. Oh, have you just been sick? Oh, baby girl. What's going on? You've been rolling around too much. Like, white. And yeah, like it's only really now, so it's been like five, six weeks that I really do feel like my milk has gone. Like I did have to hand express quite a bit for like weeks after, like literally like four weeks later and I'm like literally pissing milk in the bath. It's just like absolute madness. But now I do feel so much better. I feel absolutely fine. Like <laughs> I, like I loved it, but it was, that was, baby season 
we're moving on now. She's gonna be one next month, you know? Like, I'm so glad I like persevered through like the hard times and like the journey at the beginning. Cause there's like so many different things that people don't tell you about. Like when they, you know, the initial pain, like in the latch, like lasts a couple of weeks, like, you know, needing nipple balm all the time. 12 weeks in, I remember there was like breast milk regulation where I literally all of a sudden felt like I had no milk, which is where my supply had regulated. There was a fussy phase. She went through around four months where like she literally obviously discovered the world and like would not latch for and like drink for love nor money. So she was like hungry, but she was like so distressed distracted. Then there was also a period of time where she'd just fall asleep every time she'd go on the boob. Like there's been so many different phases of it, but um, yeah, ultimately I, I absolutely loved it and came to a natural end and I feel absolutely fine and happy. Like she's my best friend and we literally have like the most amazing bond. So please don't worry about that. And just, it's going to have to happen eventually. I think that's important to like remind anyone who's breastfeeding, like whether you breastfeed until they're three months, six months or five years old, you're going to stop eventually because no one who's 30 is still breastfeeding like are they like at some point you will wean at some point so make the decision on what's best for you timing wise and um just know that if you are just doing it because you're too scared to stop you're just delaying the inevitable i think it's good to just like but yeah each to their own and um, you'll be absolutely fine and just yeah your horm hormones will regulate and everything will be amazing i feel like i've had my first menstrual cycle i feel like i'm having my like follicular phase and luteal phase again which is mad haven't that, had that since before pregnancy so i've had like so much energy in the gym the last couple of weeks and i feel like i've got my estrogen back so that is something to look forward to for sure i think the main purpose of this video was to make you feel not alone if you are going through any kind of transition with your breastfeeding journey that was the only reason i wanted to make it because when i was going through it, i just didn't feel like there was a lot on the internet about that is even a thing, that like stopping breastfeeding is even a topic. However you feel is valid, whether you feel absolutely fine, that's valid. And whether you feel really upset and emotional, that is also valid. When I put it on my Insta story, I had some people saying that they were, like they felt heartbroken, I get that. Um, and then I've seen some people who literally do it and they don't, they're absolutely fine. And that's okay too. Like motherhood is obviously just gonna be a whole series of seasons. I'm sure I'm gonna cry at her first day at nursery. I'm sure I'm gonna cry at her first day of school. I'm sure I'm gonna cry when she finishes school. I'm sure I'm gonna cry when she moves out. Like nothing, like no season is forever in motherhood. Like it is just like a series of things. It's an emotional roller coaster, but I would not change it for the world. I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Just yeah, thank you for watching this one. If it's relevant to you in any way, then that's great. I hope that it resonated. Um, and if you wanna like chat in the comments or leave a comment about your experience when you stopped breastfeeding, whether you were absolutely fine or whether you really, you know, struggled and really emotional, then it may help others who read the comments or leave a comment to know that there's you know other women out there uh, going through some sort of transition so do leave a comment please give it a like it really does help the algorithm on youtube for other people to discover this video if it's relevant to them and also subscribe because i do upload new videos regularly and i really do want to grow my channel i've really tried to stay consistent with posting like through the carnage that has been this year i'm gonna see you in the next one I'm meant to be.